previously on Eden. We're running out the door! Because we've chosen a future with no regrets. Now here's the question, where did she get the clothes? Did we pick, pick them up while we were on the run? Did we just have random women's clothes at our house? You're not a hindrance! And I'm just saying this right now, this, this look on her face right now, that's extremely cute. And our story continues. <laughs> hey, everybody out there! In YouTube land, Jake, the one-man band, is back again. Welcome back to Eden, and it appears that Sean wants to cook. It's not a good idea. So let's see what we do about it. Sean suggested after first waking up unusual, unusually early. Why are you waking up early? You're supposed to be a bedhead. Cook. You're planning to make breakfast. Are you? You don't make lunch in the morning. This is true. This is true. True enough. But of course, that wasn't the issue at hand. The issue at hand is that you've never made breakfast before. I appreciate the thought. But will you be alright? Re really? I should be fine as long as you stay behind me and watch. <laughs> that goes without saying, but I mean, come on. Some things were just outside of one's. Some things were just outside of one's scope of abilities, and this girl's ability to make breakfast probably is one of those skills. This house was made of wood, so I couldn't dismiss the possibility of it going up in flames at the slightest spark. That's why you keep a fire extinguisher ready. It might be wise to prepare to a fire extinguisher just in case. Hmm. hmm. Well. How about dry cereal? Let's start with that. Let's start with dry cereal. Sean looked around relentlessly without paying my speculation any mind. Where would you where would you like to start? Let's see. Which hand should I hold the knife in? Depends. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Why don't you start with a task that doesn't require anything sharp or hot? Or sharp. Did I say sharp? It would probably be dangerous to let her use cutlery, considering I had noticed uh, I had nothing prepared to stop bleeding. That's why you have band-aids prepared, man. Got it. Sean grumbled in disappointment and hung her head. It was a bit pathetic for me to chip away at the enthusiasm she had finally mustered. Wanna try to make some fried eggs? That That's pretty easy. Sure! She lifted her head and answered with surprised speed. Surprising speed. Fried eggs, huh? I wouldn't really consider that cooking, but it would. Uh, but it was possible that just about right now for a beginner. Okay. First, you heat the frying pan. A frying pan doesn't go on the oven, though. Yeah, it does. No. You use the stovetop. Oh, you mean in the oven. And <laughs> normally the stovetop is on top of the oven, so that's why I was confused. Oh well, I guess no matter how intelligent, you couldn't do something you don't know mo how to do. She did well in to live to this day without knowing that. Alrighty, now let's take care of breakfast. Don't give me those eyes! This egg could be really bad! I guess it was to be expected, or maybe just a blatantly obvious outcome. The fried egg she made was atrocious. I mean, she didn't even put pepper on it. No pepper, no salt, no paprika? How am I supposed to eat this without paprika on it? Come on, Sean, get with the picture! A small number of our precious eggs were put in the wastebasket before she even made something uh, resembling a fried egg. That reminds me of an I Love Lucy episode. You know you could have tried to make your own breakfast. We have a dozen eggs in the refrigerator. Yeah, well, they didn't turn out quite right. The whole dozen? Yep. <laughs> uh, your teaching message weren't so great either. Yeah. No, your clumsiness exceeded my expectations. I was not prepared for that. I kept quiet and watched because she said 
not to meddle too much, to promise to keep my hands off. She failed when she tried to show off and crack an egg in one hand. No, no, don't do that. Then failed when she burned one down to cinders. You're supposed to flip it, my dear. And finally, she failed when she dropped an egg when she somehow cooked properly onto the floor when transferring it from plate to pan. What, you didn't use a sp Well, maybe she was using a spatula, I just fell. That is sad. I mean, come on, five second rule? As long as the yolk didn't break, it should have been fine. <laughs> uh, we were finally seated at the breakfast table where the last remaining egg somehow managed to be reduced to charcoal. I'll take the part of the white that's burned at the edges. Shon was lamenting over how hopeless she was. I ignored her the sulking and cut the egg in two with my knife. No, we will share it. It's fine. Just eat. We still have to get to the fields. Gotta tend them fields. Yeah. Shon smiled ever so slightly and picked up a fork and knife. That, that face is just so dang cute. I can't stay mad at you, Shion. In addition to Shion's egg, our breakfast menu considered of cherry tomatoes, biscuits... You had biscuits? Then why are you having eggs? You should be having gravy with them biscuits. <laughs> biscuits with strawberry jam and pre-packaged stew. Dude, just put that stew over the biscuits, then you got biscuits and stew. That would be an amazing breakfast. I would eat that breakfast every single day if I had the ability to just make biscuits every single morning, which I don't because I have jobs and dang, now I want biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Naturally, I started my meal with the fried egg. Actually, I just cra ca uh, caved into the, I just caved into the eyes fixated on me from across the table, so I ate it first. Mmm, it was a little burnt. Regular enough for a fried egg. Just a little bit of charcoal, it's good for your teeth. How is it? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's good. A little charcoal, has a little bit of flavor. I hate flattery. What a coincidence, so do I. It's not flattery, it's the truth, my dear girl. <laughs> Shon is not amused. <laughs> that that picture just Shon is not amused. Boom. Caption it right now. No, seriously, caption it. <sighs> she said nothing and uh, scowled at me, but eventually let out a sigh. <laughs> Cooking is... She stuck her fork into her egg and opened her mouth. Cooking is hard. I've always thought of it as something that would just appear whenever I sat at a table, but I guess this is what I get. Everyone plays their own part in life. You had more important things to do than cook. Yeah, you had to create formulas for spaceships and such. But now my role has changed. Just sitting at a table is something even a doll could do. I, I want to have a purpose now that I'm here. Well, you do have a purpose. You help me tend the fields, and your cute face keeps me going. That's a purpose. There's no rush. At the very least, I can take care of preparing our meals. I tossed a my half the yolk into my mouth. For that matter, there is no good reason you can't be here either. Real? What? What you want? Shon tilted her head and looked at me skeptically. You're trying to pamper me. Oh, what? Me pamper you? No! No! What makes you think that? <laughs> Am I? No, seriously, am I? That wasn't my intention. Some people were, weren't were cut out for certain things. Some people can't cook. Some people can't whistle. Some people can't snap their fingers. You know, some people can't do high-level math. We're, we can all do some things. We all can't do other things, you know. <gasps> oh, there's the egg. You see, look at that egg. That egg doesn't look too bad. I mean, I'd eat that. Ah. 
she stuck a bite of egg that was too large for her mouth and let out a quick yelp. Oh, what's wrong? She chewed the egg many times, gulped it down, and looked astonished. Then, in a rare act on her part, smiled sweetly. Oh, I see. Oh, look at that little smile. So cute. Delicious. You see, food always tastes better when you make it. No. Or is it sure. always tastes better when somebody else makes it? It's one of those two. Hey, Sean. Nani? Yes? Sean stopped pulling clumps of weeds and looked up. The sunlight was so warm today that there were beads of sweat forming on her forehead. Aren't you uh, bored being here? Like, since we, we don't got no internet, don't got no, no Super Nintendo? Yes, I am. Extremely bored. You need to entertain me. <laughs> she admitted it awfully easy. But... I didn't hate doing research. Facing a monitor, staring down data, searching for the correct answer. With only one purpose in mind, creating an engine which could go the distance. It's going the distance. It's going for speed. She's all alone. All alone in a time of need. It was all I had. But the way it was so clear cut and simple was amusing in, in and of itself. I figured the process of searching for an answer was extremely complex, but I bet even that was amusing for her. This place contains no computers or arithmetic, We're but we are but century, simple country folk. We don't need none of that fancy arithmetic here. I bet there's nothing you'd consider interesting. None. She nodded firmly. But something changes here every day. That's true. That's nature's way. Changes. That's why you... That way you pair it back when I say makes you sound like an idiot. I think it'll be best if you stopped. Stop repeating everything I say. It's a shame since you're such an intelligent person too. Oh, why, thanks. I thought your judgment and concentration when we journeyed here were out of this world. But it's like your proceeding processing speed has dropped since coming here. Well, yeah, there's a really bad Wi-Fi connection up here. Why do you think I'm going so slow? You don't have to analyze me like that. Sometimes I couldn't quite understand what she was saying. The research facility was always the same in every respect, but this place is constantly changing. The crops in the field grow every day, the fragrance of the breeze and the texture of the ground are also constantly changing. I guess you'd call it... yeah, fun. You call it fun. This is fun? Yes, it is fun. Have you ever played Harvest Moon? That game is super fun, and it's all about tending a farm! <laughs> yes, it's not boring. <laughs> yeah, that's it. My previous statement was a mistake. By the way, how do you feel about it? Being here? Feels like home. Hmm, let's see. I didn't read that last part. Let's go back. Can we go back, please? What the... Why is it doing this? Jeez, I couldn't get it the right thing to go. Okay, her curiously fill, curiosity filled pupils turned upon me. Let's see. There's no time to be bored. I got a, a lot to deal with. Sounds rough. Yeah, I was sure she understood just who I had my hands full dealing with. She was quite a girl to be able she was quite a girl to be able to act like it had nothing to do with her, knowing fully well that it did. Do your best, Ryu. Well, thanks. I always do. I would either way. Oh, that's right. It's, a, uh, it's about time. I had something small to attend to, so tending to the fields would have to wait. 
the usual. Ah, what are we doing? Yeah, I'll be back shortly. What are we doing? I'll accompany you today. It's not like it's all that interesting. Don't forget, Ryo. I want to see all kinds of things. That's why I'm here. Okay? That's fine then, I suppose. It all depends on what I'm doing. Could be something weird. Shion's job in the fields was basically finished too. Although it might be more accurate to say that her tasks were just so, of so little importance that they could be left incomplete. What are you talking about? You said earlier that she was pulling weeds. That is very important. You don't want weeds in your fields, in your garden. That is a very important task. Nonetheless, I put on a somber expression and nodded like I meant it. So what are we going to do? Just looking? What I had to attend to actually wasn't that important. I did periodic checks on the traps and warning devices I set up around the perimeter. Uh, particularly the ones laid out across the cottage. I was, it was a primitive setup considering a mostly wire, but was better th it was better than nothing, but provided only a little peace of mind. So we're checking on alerts and traps. If we were hypothetically attacked by so special forces like the GAT, it probably wouldn't slow them down at all. Almost none of these traps are lethal. Yeah, man, what's wrong with you? Make some lethal traps. We might snag a hair on one, though. Well, then we'll have hair for dinner. After we finished the check, Shon kindly provided her input. It would be fantastic if we caught a hair. They're quite delicious. Nice and yummy. I'm guessing you're probably... You probably spray more traps than you set. You don't... Uh, uh, but don't you know of any traps that are more lethal? Part of the problem is I don't have the right tools, but the routes to our cottage are limited to some degree, so that uh, so they should be still semi-efficient. So yeah, see, you want deadly traps? That would be like you know, like the swinging log thing, like uh, the spike wall coming out, maybe some some death pits. That would, uh, like, I would need an axe, lots of loads of twine, a big old shovel, and it would take a lot of time. I mean, I'm only one guy, and I have to look after you, tend the fields, make breakfast, make lunch, make dinner, clean the bathrooms. I gotta do all this stuff. I have no time to dig no death pits. It was reasonable to assume that the former residents of this mountain previously chose this location because the terrain made attacking difficult. As long as we had sufficient numbers, we could hold out for quite a long time if we were attacked. However, it would be quite difficult, or more likely impossible, to assemble any number of people at present, due to the fact that they're, you know, all gone to space. But I believe... Huh? What do you believe? I don't think you have to be so careful. The girl walking at my side lectured me in a matter-of-fact tone. There are limits to how vigilant we can be. We lack uh, numerical supremacy, and we never be fully secure without adequate weaponry or equipment. I know that. I'm the soldier here. Military affairs are outside my expertise. As such, I fundamentally have to entrust you with such things, but... If you have any ideas, I wish you'd tell me. You're the genius, remember? If our pursuers come, I don't think they'll kill you if you surrender. Did you come with me today because you wanted to tell me that? Look, if they come for us, I ain't gonna surrender! I already lost my sister! To, to that. I'm not gonna lose you too. That'd just be terrible. She nodded firmly without hesitation. I doubt they'll fire on you if you play nice and let them arrest you. You should expect soldiers to... You shouldn't expect soldiers to be ethical. Not only are they... There are many cases of civilians being assaulted or murdered. 
uh, where their primary target is. If you include the possibility of being shot on sight, I don't think we can hope for a peaceful resolution. It is still far more likely you will survive uh, that way than if you fight back or run away. Hypothetically, even if it did save my life, you would be taken away and locked up yet again, I would be court-martialed and locked up for the rest of my life, or face a firing squad. Still, they probably wouldn't kill us. She was right. They probably wouldn't. At least, you know, not Xion. They just send her away and then lock me in a dungeon somewhere and then kill me. I didn't care what you would... I didn't care what they would do to me. I wouldn't tolerate her being put in a position where her wishes weren't uh, respected yet again. Surrender was out of the question. Never give up. Never surrender. Especially when it comes to Xion. Xion? Xion? I stopped in place as did she. This is our house. We must defend it. Could you call being looked? Oh, could you call being locked away with no freedom living? I told you earlier. Told me what? I told you life here is fun. Her tone was a little angry. Yes, you certainly did, but fun doesn't. Fun is completely different. I don't want to let these fun times end with your death. It's surprising uh, for you to say something so sentimental. Yeah, I'm relatively surprised myself. She... So she said it. But Shion didn't look uh, particularly flustered. It's certainly... It's certain that I die then. That I'll die then. You know that. This much is for sure. If our military pursuers find us, they'll shoot first. If I should be killed and you captured, if that happens, what? Do you intend to waste your life that was sacrificed for... Do you intend to waste the life that was sacrificed for your sake? Oh, snap! We dropped the bomb there. I heard a fluster and the sound of a branch swaying in the distance. A bird that had stopped to rest its wings must have taken flight. Sean looked away from me and towards the direction of the noise. To tell you the truth, I don't think it's wrong to kill people. I believe uh, people killing people is a common occurrence. This is true. It's pointless to try to label a naturally occurring phenomenon like murder as good or evil. Murder is pretty evil, because you're pretty much killing somebody for no reason. What are you trying to say? It doesn't matter if people die. However, I have someone I don't want to die. That's me, isn't it? I don't want to be left alone, uh, left behind anymore. Leaving me behind and passing away without me. That's something I won't allow. You hear that, Ryo? She ain't allowing you to die. Which means you can't. She bit her lip and hung her head. Was this the first time she'd shown signs of sadness since we'd fled the research facility? I think so. Ryo, you mustn't die. She extended those small hands and gripped my sleeve. Don't die before me. Her voice was cold and held little emotion. What she said was so direct and so simple, there was no way to misunderstand. Could this be have been the words she wanted to tell me ever since she came here? I suddenly began to wonder. The... I feel the same way, Sean. So you can't die before me, which means neither of us can die. I don't, I want you to live. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Shion just tilted her head, looking bothered and didn't answer. Yes, that was my wish. 
It was something far more difficult to accomplish than surviving an assault from the military. Don't die before me, huh? I had known as much, but it was hard to hear it put into words. In short, she was convinced. Convinced she would die. Convinced that I would, that it would happen in the not too distant future. So, yeah, we pretty much knew she was gonna die eventually. But I think with that, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. So, be sure to like and favor if you've enjoyed, subscribe, of course, if you feel inclined to. This has been Eden. What will happen next time? I do not know. But our relationship continues to grow. So be a good person. Tip your waitresses. Keep moving forward. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, yeah.